guys to the bank and I picked up twenty dollars in pennies. These are all customer wrapped. Uh, so we're gonna get into it. I don't think we're gonna have too many fines in this box. Mainly because they are hand wrapped. You usually get less fines in those. And um, some of them have markings on them, but we'll see. There are quite a few copper enders as well. So we'll see if we get anything. I don't think we're gonna get really many wheats either. And there's mo this is mostly all copper and I mean mostly all zinc and this one I don't even see is actually I don't see like there's like one copper right there. Like one copper penny in this roll, see? It's not not too much. Let's scoot this back a little bit. To dump it. But I don't Yeah, I don't think we're gonna get too much in this. And, um Let's try one of these ones. These ones had a few copper enders. Um, there is an error coin on one of these enders that I that I will show you. There's a mm, mm, fair amount of copper in this roll. Um, but yeah, I'll show you that when I get to it. I haven't seen it yet though. It's a lot of artificially toned pennies in this one. There's quite a few copper in this roll. Sorry guys. 69s. I pull those to the side because I check for every all the varieties I pull out, all the ones that could have a variety I pull out, and I check at the end. The 92d. Uh, get a lot of 92ds. I'm trying to see if there's any more. Don't see any more. I pull out all the ones that uh have a chance of being an error coin? Where is it? I just think I dropped it. 92D, where is where are you? 92D, I think I'm uh, I guess I was seeing things. I don't think there's a 92D. Alright. I'll do like a few rolls live and then I'll and then I will uh actually start bringing you guys in if we get something. Not bringing you guys in. I guess I'm. I guess this is kind of a different type of hunt. This one I think is gonna be all new. Could even be all 2020s. I see a lot of 2020 enders. This I'm pretty sure is gonna be but no copper. Well, I see a lot of dark coins, but I don't see any copper. Yep, just what I expected. There's a DDO on the 94P. I'll take a look at that. And the 94D. 15D, another one to check. 84P doubled ear. I don't know. Gotta take a look at that one. Take a look at that one off camera. Don't see any. Oh, I see there, there is a copper. But not much. A lot of dirty ones, too. 95. P, the 95D is the DDO. 84D, 88P, 76. Well, I only see a couple copper in this roll. Not off to a good, great start. But hopefully there's something else to be shown. Let's do a few more. This one I think is all 2020s. It's also marked, so I think this is all 2020s. Well, it's not all 2020s, I can tell you that. Oh, and there are some copper. A lot of dirty ones. Wow. There's a ton of dirty ones in here. A ton of really messed up ones. Look at that one. That's an 84D. 99D. 2006D. Wow, there's a lot of... Messed up coins, 95D, 95D. I don't want to check. Wow. This is like messed up coin convention over here. There's like a ton of really, really corroded and just completely messed up coins here. I'm thinking of um, maybe starting a new maybe series 
um, on my YouTube channel, kind of like, uh, I might call it the hunt after the hunt. Um, kind of like encasing, like, you know, re-rolling and checking for varieties. I might kind of do, have that a series? I might do videos doing that. It might not be too interesting, but it's a cool name, so I might, I don't know, I might do that. We'll see. This is the one that had, like, no copper in it. Well, there is copper in this one. See an 81, 81, 82 that I gotta weigh up. 62, that one was probably 81. 82 uh, is probably copper, it looks like it. 83D, there's a double die on that one. Um, 62, there's an RPM on that, I'll check that in a second. Because that one you can probably, you can see pretty easily. 70D, you can check that for the new FG, find quite a bit of those though. They're pretty, they're not common, I would say, but I find them every so often. There's a 98D, I was hoping. That might have been a 98 Philadelphia. I don't get a lot of Philadelphia minted coins in my area, which is unfortunate when you want to check for varieties. Um, because, you know, there's a lot of coins that you, that, in the, from the Philadelphia mint, that, uh, are possible contestants for varieties. Sorry, guys. Someone calling me right in the middle of a coin run hunt, so. To call whoever that is back later. Alright. Let's see. Oh, I think we got a wheat, and I think it might be old. That looked like a wheat. I think it's a wheat. Alright, we got a wheat live. Good. That's great. It might be old. We'll see. Are you ready? 1917D. Wow. That's an old one. That's a really old one. I don't know. I don't know. That, that might fill a spot. That's an oldie. Really oldie. Over 100 years old. Might like, might be a 104 year old coin. Wow, teens weedy with mint mark. I did not expect that. I seriously, I did not expect it. That's crazy. That is super crazy. 72p. Wow, I'm stoked about that one. I'm stoked about that. One. That's a really nice 92. D. I wish there were uh, there were more Denver minted errors and a lot of Den. Lot, I get a lot of ones in the late seventies and eighties. I wish there were more errors in those years because I get a lot of them. And probably if I if there were some, I I mean there probably are, but if there were were more uh, valuable ones, I probably would get them more often because there's more. Denver minted coins in my area. But yeah, that's a really neat find. 1917D. Sounds like a key date, but it's not. Um, I know it's common. Cause I, I sometimes look at the mintages before I get into it. There's a really weird thing in there. 92, 98, uh, 69D. I don't know what that is. 78. 7991 74D this might be someone's copper collection too a couple 98Ds um don't oh I was going to say I don't see any shield sense but I do that's a really neat find though I'm stoked I'm super stoked about that one all right don't see anything till anything that screams weedy um, don't see any one, too many to check for varieties. A lot of the variety years are, there's a painted colored one. Alright. This will make a good This will make a good good video, hopefully. I have to get a bag. I always forget to bring a bag when I'm doing these. 
All right, I'm probably after this roll, I'm going to pause um, the video. The Canadian. 1975. I'm probably going to pause the video um, and, until, or hope, until I get something, hopefully. Um, I figure, you know, I don't have no idea if we're going to get any other finds. Um, so I gotta, I'm gonna pause, and, uh, I might bring you in for, for the Canadians, though, because, um, I don't know, how, I don't know if we're gonna get many fines. Um, so, yep, yeah, I will bring you in if we get something, or not, really, really not bring you in, but. We're a few rolls in, we got a second wheat here. Didn't actually think we had one, but we do, it's a 1958, Denver. With our second wheat scent, we got a really old one and a really new one. Ooh. I'm actually surprised we're getting some. We're getting some. Let's try another live. Let's try a live one. I didn't think we would get any. Could could be a good hunt. Good hunt for uh for wheats. Hopefully. Right, looks like the curse of the camera strikes again. So a lot of um, a lot of uh, late memorials and uh, early shield scents that are in great shape. That are in great shape. I see a lot of them. A lot of them. That's a nice 95D. That would have been great if that was a DDO. I mean, I don't know. I'll check. Obviously. Yeah, some of the, some of these memorials, the late memorials, when the, like right before they stop making the memorial uh, backs, a lot of them are in great, great shape. There's a ton of 95Ds, a ton of them. Um, there's a 92D. That's great shape. That would be awesome if that was a a double die, or a double die, a, a close AM, that would have been great. <laughs> Alright, let's try one more live and then we'll uh, get back to you. This is only $20 by the way, it's not $25. Normally I would do $25 hunts, but uh... I figure, why not do a $20 hunt this time? Alright. Another 95D. Wow, there's a ton. A ton of them. I guess a 9 something could be a 69, 69S. That would have been... Ridiculous if that was a DDO. I don't think it is, but I'll, I'll check under my loop later just in case. That's why I'm pulling all of these out. I'm gonna do a after the hunt variety search. Those are always very fun as well. Obviously, the coin roll hunt is the best part, but it's still fun checking for them. Oh yeah, let's do this one actually. Let's do this one live. This one we got that old 17D wheat scent in it before. Points. Don't see any. But I'll see quite a bit of copper, so uh, I'll bring you in if we uh, get something. I keep saying bring you in, but alright. Guys, I'm bringing you in for this because I see, I think this, I don't know, there might be some zinc in here, but this might be, mo this looks like mostly or all copper. Didn't expect that. Totally. There's a lot of There could be more ones to check for varieties. There's a few varieties in the copper years that you can check for. It's like 69D. One to check. And there's also an... I don't know if it... I don't think it increases the chance for wheat pennies, but it could. You never know. Um, 81D... 79, 74D, some 60s. Uh, sorry guys, the sun is in like the worst place right now. I'm doing this outside if you can't tell by the lighting. 75, 63, 69D. 
another one to check. Wow, they look like to be all copper. That's insane. Okay, I did not expect that. I thought these rolls were gonna be all zinc or mostly zinc. That is all copper. I don't know, I might keep that. I'm gonna put it throw it in the bin for now. Running when I'm re-rolling them, I might. But let's get back to it. Guys, we got three rolls left, and uh, we got a wheat penny here. We also got a 59. 1946. Alright, that's three. Let's just do the last few live, just in case there's something else in there to be shown. Don't, I, yeah, I haven't gotten a lot of chances to check for the 98D wide AM, mainly because, you know, we live closer to the Denver Mint, so there's going to be a lot of them. And I'm also pulling out the 85 or 82 uh, small date pennies. Uh, mainly because those in nice shape are worth a little bit of money. Not too much, but a little bit. So, that's nice. I was, didn't think we would get another one, but that's not too bad. I mean, it's only three wheats, but that's a, we got a old one there. It's my oldest coin of the year. Yeah. With that buffalo nickel, we might have got, we, that might have been older, because we couldn't see the date on that one, that buffalo nickel. But, um... I don't know. Last couple. 670. Yeah. So, lots of... Well, I've got a ton of... Huge pile of one to check for varieties. I check them at the end of the hunt. Um, I just pull them out all out and check them at the end of the, the coin hunt. Right, last roll. This is the one, one of the ones where I got the old wheat penny. So actually, that's pretty good. I guess. I mean, it's not that great. Let's see. Is this one? Please don't. Ooh, it is one. We got one. We got we got one live. 1956, that's four.